Oh. And then, there, and then there's this. <laughs> This is the 2004 McLaren <laughs> yeah. X Kimi Raikkonen. This is unbelievable. Welcome back to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. Today I'm at Donington for the Supercar Driver Secret Meet. And part of this day, we have the Ignition GP, which is where we get to see some of the most incredible F1 cars from the 80s and 90s. So we're gonna meet Jonathan Kennard, who's gonna take us through some of the stars of the day. Let's go and meet him. It's actually happening. It's happening, yeah. It's so, so exciting. It is, isn't it? Okay, so we're in pit one. Yes. Talk me through Talk this. Me through. So this is the ex Nelson PK 1990 yes. Benetton. Yes. And he did win two Grand Prix. I think it was Japanese and Australian, I think. And I don't believe there's another 1990 Benetton anywhere else in the world that's running. Really? Um, so full marks to, to John, the owner, to, to get this up and running. John bought it with no engine. Was it a similar like to the, uh, the Ferrari I of think Nigel's? He might have bought it complete, but complete. needing a restoration. Right. Um, and that's what a few of the owners have done over time. And we're getting more and more people doing exactly that. Yes. Buying cars that might need a bit of work, or yes. Or put a lot, like you say, with the Mansell cars, putting yep. the whole lot together and, and starting afresh and yep, yep. getting it running. So um, and now with what we're doing, there's a reason for people to. To, to want to it's do that. It's just so great. And as I said, you know, when you were talking about it, we were in Monaco, yeah. just, you know, actually seeing these cars that I was brought up watching, you know, with the big fights of PK and Pross and Senna and everything yeah. that actually they're all here and you get to see them and touch them. Yeah, uh, and all running absolutely properly and as they would have done yeah. it in period, the correct engine. Yeah. Uh, correct colour scheme. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's absolute bliss. I'm in heaven today. Really. I know, I bet. So am I. So a lot of yeah. people. Right, come so on. So we go see a few more. So around here. Right, here we go. This here. is the, the Jordan Garage. Jordan Garage. So Pit over three. here. So this is the ex um, Rubens Barrichello 94 yes. Jordan. Uh, wow. Jordan Hart, um, V10 engine in this. Oh. To me, that the shape of that, like we saw with again with the Mansell cars, that, that is exactly what a racing car should look like. Yeah. The Coke bottle effect to the rear, yeah. loads of downforce, and you'll remember also the, the sparks flying off the, yes, the end do. plate. Yes, we do. Let's get through a few of those. And then the sister car was Eddie Over. So, Good old Eddie. Again, run exactly as it was in period. So. It's just fantastic. Yeah. It's like we've almost gone back in time. Yeah, so we, and then uh, uh, the next year along was, was that one, 95. Are we allowed to know who's who's driving it? Are the owners driving yeah, it? Yeah, so or? the owner's driving this, yes. uh, Michael Fitzgerald. Um, okay. Again, this was a, a project for him. Um, it was complete, but needed a full restoration, full rebuild, which the guys here at MJ Tech have done. Yes. Stripped it down, absolutely down to nothing, crack tested it, rebuilt the engine, rebuilt the gearbox, put it back together. And... Oh, it's just so amazing seeing them here and back and yeah, exactly. going and moving and oh wow look at that so this is an eddie irvine car i think he got second place in the canadian grand prix in this car second in canada yeah and the, the most amazing thing about this car is you've got the original peugeot v10 engine in it <laughs> yeah complete with tennis balls now Good with the tennis they, they, balls they will be removed when it's right don't worry yeah exactly um, i was like they might be um yeah. <laughs> off and up that is beautiful look at that engine uh, and it runs at 17,000 RPM. 17,000. 17,000. It's an absolute screamer. God, it's fantastic. And I love all these colours and they're so bright and all of these wonderful old sponsors. Brilliant yeah. car. And then, there, and then there's this. <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is the 2004 McLaren yeah. ex Kimi Raikkonen. Yeah. Um, MP419. Yes. Mercedes V10 engine. 
I mean, what's not to like? It's absolutely I, stunning. I, and, know, um, I mean, and I saw who was driving it as well. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So and, the incredible Adrian Newey. Well, we're so delighted to have both of his cars here, of which he both designed and now owns. Um, and we're, yeah, we're delighted to have them both running. And, That's you know, very special, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've got sort of beginning of a career, yeah. mid-career. Yes. Maybe we'll get a Red Bull one day as well. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, but the interesting uh, story by this car is... Uh, it has, Noisy buggers! <laughs> yeah, more the merrier. <laughs> louder, please. Louder. Um, but it hasn't run since 2004. This this is, today is the first day that it's run. Wow. Uh, since Kimmy has last stepped out of it. So. And how incredible, because I suppose for many, many years, Adrian didn't, you would never have said to them. I mean, that's what, you know, they just would never have happened. And to actually be in a car that you've designed and to go around racetracks and... It doesn't get any cooler than that, does it? That is yeah. awesome. And, 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 and he's Adrian, here with his, uh, with his son, isn't he? Yeah, Harry's in Harry's, that. Yeah. And, and it was great earlier on. They, they looked like having a bit of a scrap. And Were they? Father and son <laughs> scrap. So um, that must feel amazing to be next to your son yeah. in the car that you both designed. So. Oh, that's a real father-son moment, isn't it? It's kind it really of like in two cars that you've designed. Yeah, awesome. Magic. What a treat for all of us. Yeah. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, so Late the in CG house. 901, 1990. Leighton House with the Judd EV engine in it, the, the V8. Um, That's the V8, yeah. And see. everyone will remember this car from the French Grand Prix, Paul Ricard, where Capelli nearly won the race. Yes. Nearly across just sneak through. Um, when this, I think he had uh, fuel pressure problems in the last two laps or something, but it, it was nearly the, the biggest upset in Grand Prix history. Yeah. Because the, 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 the very race before, it hadn't qualified for the Grand what Prix. What year was this? This was this is 1990. 1990, yeah. yeah. So, because there's a lovely story. I'm, I'm very, very fond of Ivan Capelli because he taught me how to race. Fantastic. Yes. Couldn't get a better teacher than that. I know, because he was, I was, when I joined Maserati, he was, of course, wow. very much involved. And, um, and yes. Yeah, and so I, he, a lot of slapping of hands when I gripped too tight. Very Italian. <laughs> Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, wow. Uh, great teacher, and this is his old uh, steed. This is amazing, and, and again running well. does drive this hard and, and, and he, everyone wants to see that don't they and, yeah. and, and when does that happen yeah. and that's what that's what we're all about it's, it's just brilliant johnson well done okay so what have you got now so over benetton. here um, it's, it's like a slightly later car so it's uh, 1997 benetton yes um, gerhard burger's car um, fantastic i think he won the german grand prix in this car uh, Hockenheim. Uh, I hope I haven't got that wrong. I'm pretty sure that's correct in this, in this chassis. So, yeah. um, again, fantastic history. Oh, wow, that is something, isn't it? Look at this. And how, how lovely is it for you guys to get to work on these old cars and actually see them go around the track again? It's a lot of hard work, but when you turn up on the day, it's, yeah. it's worth it. You know? Isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. When people come round, they're like, wow, look at this, and you think, OK, all the late nights. Yeah, you know, it's worth so, it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Amazing. It's just, and you, well done. Gorgeous. Epic again. Fantastic. of the cars we've got here have got phenomenal histories, great stories. Yeah. And then over here we've got the 1993 Tyrrell. So it's, it's, it's the 021 Tyrrell designed by Mike Conklin. 
Because they all got sold. What happened with Tyrrell? I wasn't really... It all, something happened and the whole team got sold, didn't it? Uh, well, it sort of ended up into into BAR, and then which it ended up. So BAR took up took up their uh, their license in Formula One. That was it. Um, and then Paul Stoddart bought some of the assets as well. Because what actually maybe, happened with the cup? They just went bust. Yes, they couldn't keep going. Because it mean, was a tough time, wasn't it? it was a tough time. Yeah. Budgets were rising. Yeah. And a lot of the bigger teams were, were getting the big sponsorship money. Yeah. Uh, and, and and what was formerly one of the biggest teams. I know. Was started to struggle with. It's a real shame. And I'm, I have massive love for for Tyrrell generally. Yes. Who was driving at the end? Of uh, so this is Andrea De Chesaris's car, okay. 1993. Um, and that was the last year they ran as no, Tyrrell? Well, I ran a few years after, I think up to 1997 or 8, I think. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and unfortunately they were on a bit of a decline, but it's, but it's still, yeah, John V10, yes. plenty of noise. Yes. And some really interesting technical parts on this car with monoshock rear, damper yeah. and things like that. So it's... Um, Isn't it lovely? Because I really was trying to get you to take the... Um, the, the cover off the front and you were like no so it's actually so nice yeah. we're actually getting to see everything yeah absolutely it's so. just brilliant i love it i really really love it the smells the noise and people can actually come in buy a general emissions ticket and come and see see the cars themselves uh, yes yeah, so, and also we got silverstone classic they can do the same again yes uh, we're running at least this number of cars hopefully even more next time then so they can keep yeah, keep, keep, keep supporting us. So the Silverstone Classic is the last of for, for last this of year. Last of for this year. Yeah. And then, and then, um, yeah. So people need to just check online just, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, just keep, keep, that's it. Keep, yeah. keep an eye on what we're doing. Www. Yeah, we're whatever. trying to organise the calendar for as early as we can for next year. Yeah, I think yeah. it's so worth it if you are a fan of this area, like like I completely yeah. am, just to see them, but with life in them. It's just wonderful. So rare. That's what we live for. All this.